Hi, it's At Home with Monique, and this is day six of 35 days of stack cooker inspiration. Our stack cooker is on sale for the whole month. It is normally $145 and it's on for $129. So my goal is to give you 35 days of inspiration on what you could do with the stack cooker that you're about to buy or with the stack cooker that you may already have and haven't been using it to its fullest potential. So today the recipe is meatloaf, Italian meatloaf, and I'm gonna make some potatoes with it as well. So we're actually gonna utilize all the parts of the stack cooker. So in the bottom, you can see I have a uh, three liter casserole. I've got some potatoes. Um, we're just gonna cook the potatoes straight up. You can put a little water in there uh, or not. Um, once the potatoes come out, uh, one thing that I, I've done in the past is add some butter, add some cream or milk, salt, pepper, and you can mash them. So it makes uh, really quick mashed potatoes. Um, in the second casserole, we're actually going to, we're gonna make our meatloaf in the colander part. And so what'll happen is as the meat's cooking, because we do put the, the raw meat in here, the juice or the fat is going to flow out into the middle section here. So this, this smaller 1.75 casserole is just gonna catch the fat essentially. Um, whenever we uh, cook something like a cake or uh, I use it also for my egg dishes. We use the cone. The cone will help the, the dish cook more evenly and cook more quickly. So we're going to have uh, the meat around the cone and then finally we do cook it with the lid on. So the recipe for the meatloaf is uh, we're just going to mix it up in this this bowl here. It's two pounds of ground beef. So I've got the beef already uh, portioned into the small freezer mate and I did go to Costco and buy a lot of ground beef so a lot of my recipes this week are focusing on the ground beef after that we'll cycle through the chicken <laughs> and the other meats <laughs> that we bought so the beef um, the other thing that goes in here is this is half a cup of like the recipe calls for breadcrumbs I'm actually using ground uh, pork rinds trying to keep the recipe keto for me and um, so I used the power chef chopper to grind the pork rinds down to breadcrumbs so I call them keto breadcrumbs so they're gonna go in I have eggs um, two eggs and I do usually uh, beat uh, my eggs in the quick shake whenever the recipe asks for the eggs to be beaten I use the quick shake instead of a bowl and a whisk so um, we'll just pour the eggs in Everything will get mixed up together. So the quick shake has this blender on the top and that's why it's effective for mixing the eggs like that. We have uh, parsley in this recipe. And parsley, parsley is one of my favorite things to keep in one of our fridge smarts uh, because it will keep the parsley for a long time. Often we bring the parsley home from the store, it's in the plastic bag, and if you don't uh, use it or Take it out of the plastic bag, it really will only last for a few days. In the Fridge Smart, it'll last for several weeks. Now, I just bought this today to make this recipe, so it's still looking very good. Um, I'm going to uh, chop my parsley actually in the Power Chef, and I love the Power Chef for many things, but especially parsley and cilantro because it's very difficult to do that with a knife. Um, and if you do do it with a knife, it gets kind of all over the place and also it's hard to get to sometimes the the right consistency so we're just going to put uh, about that much <laughs> the recipe says half a cup so uh, there is measuring on the side of the power chef but uh, once this is chopped down it's hard to tell how much it is raw uh, power chef I didn't rinse it from the last recipe. <laughs> okay, so Power Chef just chopped the parsley. And so the more you pull, the finer it will get, right? So I have a, a friend who uh, makes tabbouleh, and the Power Chef for her was a savior because it is a time consuming job, right? So there's our parsley. Fresh parsley, it smells so good. And 
This recipe also has some onions and peppers. So we'll use the Power Chef for those as well. Um, two onions and one pepper. So we'll do that in two separate goes. Power Chef also has a fill line, so you don't want to fill it too full. And again, it is meatloaf, so I would make these probably fairly fine. So, onion, pepper. I just use the same Power Chef over and over for the same recipe and wash it all out at the end. It can all go in the dishwasher, except the blade. You should never wash any blades in the dishwasher because it dulls the blade. One of the things that always deterred me from cooking was all the chopping and the prep that had to be done. I like eating it and I like the idea of homemade meals. I just Sometimes the prep is overwhelming, so having the Power Chef is really nice. Okay, that. And then there's some seasoning. That was, it asks for Italian seasoning, so I used my Epicure Marinara seasoning. Tomato sauce asks for. So I'm just going to open the can of tomato sauce with the Tupperware can opener. You can use that for left-handed or right-handed. And it doesn't cut the can. It basically um, unglues the can. So cans are glued together. And when you take it off, you can just use the clip. You don't have to touch the can. You're not, nothing on this can is sharp, so it's safe to use. And you can discard that. The recipe said to use half of this, and the other half is gonna go on top of the meatloaf after it's cooked for a, a period of time. And then we put some cheese in this actually. So I've got my cheese grater set up and I've got this cool thing. This is a newer Tupperware product. It's called Cheese Smart and it's used to keep cheese really nice in the fridge. So no smells transfer to the fridge and it keeps the fridge at just the, or keeps the cheese at just the right humidity. So there's uh, some holes here to breathe. Uh, just allows the um, right, correct amount of air for cheese, but doesn't allow the odor to go in the fridge. So sometimes with the wrapping it in saran wrap, people are finding in the heat and humidity, cheese is getting moist and it's molding quicker. So um, the Cheese Smart is really good. You can see there's, there is some moisture inside the container and that's the container just doing its job. So we need some cheese. This is the Great Master and we're going to use it to grate cheese, which again, sometimes that's a chore that's not fun. <laughs> but with this Great Master, it is kind of fun actually, because sometimes we have races to see, you know, how fast we can get that cheese grated. <laughs> so that's, um, it can grate um, soft cheeses or hard cheeses. And there's a lot of different attachments uh, for this as well. Um, for finer grating, for Parmesan, we can do ice shaving with this. There's quite a lot of features. There we go. Humidity is keeping that cheese nice and <laughs> jammed in there. And here we go. Whoop. Let's do the last piece. You're pushing it. <laughs> there we go. So again, some of the cheese goes in the recipe and then some goes on top. And this will cook for uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Okay, so back to the meatloaf. Okay, so it said, I think a cup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One and a half cups of grated cheddar, but half a cup goes on at the end. So, there's no other way to do this <laughs> other than this, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the best part. <laughs> Got those eggs and the meat. <laughs> 
I wish we could have a magic Tupperware thing that could could mix this up, but nothing mixes <laughs> meatloaf. Well, usually the Jimmy mixer does that part. <laughs> the Jimmy mixer can do it. He did it for our burgers we made since we had, I don't know, 20 pounds of ground beef. Okay. It's a nice, moist mixture. I love it. So we'll cook it for uh, 25 minutes, and then we take it out at the 25 minute, and then we will put the rest of the tomato sauce and the cheese on top. So this is what you're doing with this nice meatloaf. Just putting it all around the cone. So the potatoes and the meatloaf will cook together in the microwave for 30 minutes. So that's probably about half the time, I think, it would take in the oven to do potatoes and meatloaf. Not sure about having put this bracelet on here today. <laughs> okay, that looks nice and colorful even. Okay, so one hand has the meat, one hand doesn't. We'll just put the lid on and that'll go in the microwave for 30 minutes. And I'll, I'll show you the after uh, meatloaf at home with Monique and I guarantee a tight seal.